Hi, and welcome to Riviera University's Learning Canvas 101. Upon completion of this tutorial, you will be able to do the following. Distinguish the differences between a top level and response post. Demonstrate proficiency using and posting to the discussions tool. And finally, interpret a given rubric. So, you've started poring over your course syllabus, and your instructor mentions class participation is worth 30% of your grade. But what exactly is participation in an online environment? Most instructors utilize the Discussions tool within Canvas. To put it in simpler terms, your instructor poses a question from your weekly course readings. You know the answer, but you can't exactly raise your hand in front of the computer. Face it, you look pretty <laughs> silly doing so. Hence the utilization of the Discussions tool. The Discussions tool allows you to demonstrate your knowledge of a given weekly topic. It also enables you to respond to your classmates' posts, fostering a sense of community within an online course. Let's take a look at the Discussions tool within Canvas. You can access the Discussions tool in multiple ways. The first, through the Discussions menu option on the left-hand side of the screen, and the second, and most logical, would be in linear fashion within your course modules. Okay, I'm currently in the Discussions tool, and I see that it's worth 25 possible points. If I look down, I can see the topic of the discussion along with the specifications that are required by the instructor. If I wish to see how the assignment will be graded, I go up and click on the Settings option and select Show Rubric. The rubric provides me specific detail and insight as to how my instructor will be grading my discussions post. As long as my content is correct and I follow the rubric's guidelines, I will do well on this post. Okay, before I post my brilliant thoughts to the discussions tool, there are a few best practices to consider. When creating your posts, it would be wise to use a word processing program such as Microsoft Word or Google Drive. If your web browser crashes while typing your post, your content is typically irretrievable. Both save regularly and are easy to copy and paste into the Discussions tool. When posting to Discussions, please refrain from using emoticons or text lingo within your posts. Come on, you're in a collegiate atmosphere. Let's act scholarly. Finally, when posting to Discussions, please do not type in capital letters. It's considered shouting, and it's just rude. Okay. Back to the Discussions tool. I've created an absolutely brilliant initial top-level post. To add it into the Discussions tool, I can type or paste it into the reply area here. I'm going to paste it. And now I can click Post Reply. And here is my Discussions initial post. Now, if I need to reply to my classmates' posts, I go to the post and then click in the Reply field and type or paste my comments. In this case, I'm going to paste as well. And then I click Post Reply. And here it is. Okay, if you notice here, Professor Drago has made a top-level post. I can tell that I've done a reply post because my post is indented. If I need to break it out by top-level posts, I can go up here and click this icon here. And now I can see each person's initial top-level post. If I need to see anything within there, I can click on the profile, and it'll open up, and then I can see a top-level post, and then I can see a reply post. This information should get you where you need to be. We hope these tips and tricks empower you to be a successful online student. Until next time, thanks from Riviera University.